Hey guys, welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today, we're gonna do a quick, 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 super quick, the quickest, fastest, probably the fastest, quick, super quick, ultra, uber, as quick as we can possibly do it unboxing of the new RC four wheel drive Marlin Crawler Edition TF2. Now, you're probably saying to me, what's the big deal? It's just a trail finder too. We've seen those before. Well, there are enough differences here, I think, to make this worth doing a little unboxing. My thanks to RC Four Wheel Drive and their team for sending this to me in advance of the release uh, to give us an opportunity to kind of get a little promotional stuff out there and to show off this awesome truck. This is an RTR and it is ready to run. So uh, you're going to get a um, you're going to get all the bits and pieces that you need uh, right out of the box and it's all ready to go. Now, if you don't know who Marlin Crawler is, or what Marlin Crawler is, or where Marlin Crawler is, um, Marlin Crawler is uh, one of the forerunners, uh, it's a Toyota joke, uh, one of the forerunners of the crawling kind of uh, Toyota, you know, history. What they are most uh, famous for is their transfer case and uh, its gear reduction. I think Marlin, the actual man, runs a like 1,000 to 1 ratio transfer case. It's bonkers. And he can get out of his truck, which this tiny version is modeled after, and walk it. Because it's so crawly, so slow, that in idle it'll just kind of travel along without any, any, any problems. It's pretty spectacular to see. Uh, maybe I'll throw a clip of it in here. Let me check my chart. Let's find out where I was. Uh, oh, 128 to 1. 128 to 1. 128 to 1, and I was in 11th gear. 11th gear. What? 128 what? to 1. What happened? What happened? People don't see people freak out when they see a truck drive with move with no driver. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the box. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful box. There is actually a lot of color and a lot of nice graphics on here. So this TF2 is officially licensed by Marlin Crawler and it's got some nice upgrades, some nice changes from the original Trail Finder 2 um, that, you know, really for me kind of sold this as a pretty awesome bit of kit. Let me go through some of those things. Yoda 2 cast uh, aluminum axles, the new high clearance uh, transfer case skid, Interco IROC 1.7 scale tires, Outcry 2 waterproof ESC, Twister high torque Metal Gear digital servo. I'm trying not to look like I'm reading all of these things, uh, even though I am. TRO 1.7 inch stamped steel beadlock wheels, 45 turn uh, brushed uh, RC four wheel drive motor, super soft flex leaf springs for the TF2. R3 single speed transmission. I love the simplicity of that transmission. I hate shifting gears. I don't think it's necessary. You've heard me complain about that on, um, I don't know, some other video from some other manufacturer's review. Obviously all the standard features of the TF2, but all of these nice bonus bits really make a difference. It's still using the RC four wheel drive Mojave body, but what you're getting here are a couple of extra nice little bonuses. The bed's been bobbed, which means shortened overall in the overall length, giving you better uh, departure and, um, you know, I don't know, those angles. The They give you better angles on like a, you're going down and you're not gonna drag the, you're going down a hill, then you're coming up that hill, you're not gonna drag your bed on the hill anymore. That's nice. Also looks cool too. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, once you've got some experience in styrene, but hey, RC four wheel drive did it for you. So let's stop talking about it. Maybe get it out of the box, huh? I will mention that it is a very good looking box. And one of the things that we pride ourselves on at the Scale Builders Guild is the box quality. Uh, this is a nice box. There's lots of colors. It's got the factory sealed sticker on it and uh, lots of bright, colorful graphics. And it shows off a lot of the upgrades that you can get um, maybe down the road. Hey there kids, I'm Marlin Crawler. You've, you've got one of these big trucks, you'll need one of these tiny ones to go with it. In typical fashion, 
I've opened the box upside down. There's there's the packaging. It comes on this cardboard skid, right, with uh, some blister pack stuff, a piece of styrofoam there, piece of styrofoam there, and then all of this like stick on stuff here. It's almost like uh, you know the the stuff the plastic you put over Lexan, uh, you know the outer shroud. But all of that there to protect this truck. It's it's remarkable. It's it's you know it's really nicely done. There's even little divots here for where the diffs on the axles would sit. That is really you know thinking ahead. That's pretty smart. I like that. Okay, so that's what it looks like fresh out of the packaging. Um, you can tell that they've really done their homework and they've protected the whole truck because obviously it's molded in red, it's not painted red, and they want to make sure that when you open it up it's not all scraped up. So that's that's a really nice bonus kind of attention to detail, taking care of the customer that I really like to see. And here you can tell that these are the rubber uh, mirrors, which is great news. It means you're not going to crack those off on your first trail truck drive. Windshield bezel isn't body color it's painted black they did the same around the doors and the whole of the uh, inside of the bed is black which is nice marlin crawler specific uh, roll bar that I was talking about it's got some nice uh, look to it there I like the, uh, the molding of MC that's cool these are new drive shafts which may or may not be better than the old drive shafts probably better uh, this is the new skid. That's uh, I don't think that's aluminum. That's machined, I think, out of Delrin, probably. Um, super soft leafs here and over there, of course. Um, all looks to be in pretty good kit. These are 80 mil, 80 mil shocks, yeah. Um, and you get four of them, so that's always a bonus. Obviously, no interior inside there. You do get the dashboard and the steering wheel, but no bench seat. Uh, but that's, you know, okay, there's going to be some sacrifices, obviously, because this is an RTR. And including all of the uh, the features that they did, they had to scrimp somewhere. And that's obviously going to be where they're going to do it. One thing we haven't talked about yet, and I want to reveal it right here, is this this new, new bezel. This is all new for RC4 wheel drive. And yes, it's similar to, uh, similar to what... Uh, you would get on a Tamiya uh, Hilux, but there are some differences. Uh, this is chrome, and you get the circular headlights. These are all, you can see through there, and there's a radiator in there now too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so included in the bag, you get metal bumper, uh, which is uh, a great piece to have. Uh, it's also winch ready. Uh, I don't know exactly which winch, but I bet you um, all of them will fit on here. You get the optional, uh, if you wanted to do like just a cab version, get rid of the bed all together, they've got this, uh, this piece here. So you can, um, you know, take the back part of your truck off and just put this on and Bob's your uncle. Uh, you get a very nice colorful manual, which uh, isn't colorful on the inside, but uh, you know what, who cares? Uh, it does exactly what you will need it to, which is tell you where things go. Awesome sticker sheet. This is pretty great. Look at all those Marlin crawler stickers. You get a big one for the hood, you get little ones for the sides, you get a... Look at all those stickers on the back window, that's kind of cool. Pre-stuck. You don't even have to do anything there. Uh, you also get a nickel metal hydride battery which I will use never. Collectible RC four-wheel drive AA batteries, which are pretty cool. I might actually not take these out of the package. I don't know why. I just, I like the fact that they've got their own batteries. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Uh, RC four-wheel drive branded plug-in charger, which should charge that nickel metal hydride battery in about 10 days. That's obviously a joke. It'll probably do it in eight hours. Uh, a radio, which, um, you know, seems to do all the things it'll probably need to do. It's got a uh, steering trim, throttle trim, a uh, third channel trim, a lot of endpoint adjustments, and some fine details that I don't know anything about. But lots of buttons on there. And it's nice that they include a third channel. That I wonder if the, or if the receiver is three channels so you can actually plug a winch in right away. 
That's a good question and I'll try to find that out. Anyway, I'll investigate and put it in the comments below. That's a lot of stuff actually and for the retail price, you're getting a fairly decent truck. What I think intrigues me the most about this specific RTR is the level of finish that you kind of already get. Um, just because it's a hard body. Uh, they give you beadlock wheels. They give you scale axles. It's leaf sprung. It's got a drop bed. It's got a roll cage. It's got all the bits and pieces you need to get going right away. It's got a metal front bumper. It's got plastic sliders. It's got a plastic rear bumper. Uh, I think this is a 39 point truck and that for out of the box, ready to run is a pretty sweet deal. You don't have to do a lot of tinkering or figuring out or thinking about it. You could literally hit the trail with this right away and have I'm not going to say super competitive because it is, it is leaf sprung and, you know, that's always a disadvantage, but it does give you a lot of points. This is a fairly competitive, good looking truck that I think could get you started in competition if that was what you wanted to do with it. Let's list the positives. Leaf sprung. Proven TF2 chassis and transmission and transfer case. Um, high clearance skid for that transfer case. Metal front bumper. Uh, revised looks on the Mojave body to make it really look cool. I love the front grille. I think having to be able to see through it and to see a radiator and having the round headlights finally looks really cool. Uh, wipers included, nice rubber mirrors included, drop bed, roll cage, all of these bits and pieces, beadlock wheels. I love the, the, the rings that are on the beadlocks. I mean, it just looks great right out of the box. Great sticker sheet, great options included. I love that it's RTR and ready to go. It's a pretty awesome truck. Now, oh, bobbed bed, I forgot all about that. That's a really cool. Okay, now let's talk about some of the setbacks. Let's talk about some of the drawbacks of this truck. Uh, well, um, it's not an exact recreation of Marlin Crawler's current Hilux. Yes, he's got the cut doors. But I can see why RC four wheel drive didn't do that. Lots of R and D. You have to redo the molds, and you'd have to include an interior. Otherwise, it would look totally goofy to be able to see directly down into the truck. So I get why they did that. That's fine. Not a not a huge deal. Gosh, I guess that's it. I mean, I guess people could ask for a revised TF two chassis, but if it works, then I guess they didn't feel like mutzing around too much in there. It, uh, it's a great truck. I think for the dollar value that you're getting, it's, it's pretty hard to beat for a scale, uh, trail truck. Gosh, I don't know, man. Uh, for an RTR, they kind of nailed it really. Yeah. Hats off RC four wheel drive. This is a nice bit of kit and, uh, I look forward to having some fun with it. I look forward to actually making it more like Marlin Crawler's, uh, actual truck at this point. Um, it's not going to take much. You will, most people will probably end up painting it, but I mean, for an RTR and just getting it out there and having some fun and goofing off, there's no real need to paint it. I'm going to paint it because I like to make sure that I take things to that level, obviously. Um, do the stickers up, do an interior so that's all done. Um, maybe swap the connector on the ESC and put a, uh, a Deans on there so I can use my batteries. Uh, Maybe swap out the receiver? Doubtful, though. I mean, it's all there. I'll just use it until it doesn't work any longer. So, yeah, I mean, get one. That's honestly, like, honestly, I don't, if you, if you don't have a TF2, you've never experienced a leaf sprung truck, this is a great first kit. If you have a TF2, uh, and you like TF2s, and you want another one, this is probably a great option. And until they offer the shortened bed and the Marlin Crawler accessories uh, standalone, yeah, this is pretty great. I'm honestly, I'm pretty happy with this truck. Uh, again, and I think it speaks to, you know, m me and how I like to operate and how um, I like my trucks, it's simple. There's not a lot that can go wrong. There's a steering servo, there's a electronic speed control, and a one-speed transmission. That's it. And, you know, from my experience with the Trailfinder 2, uh, there's not much 
needed in terms of maintenance or upgrades. I mean, you can swap it to links if you want, but I kind of like it simple. And uh, this is a great simple beginner's kit. It's a great simple expert's kit. There's a lot of room for modification and a lot of room to make it your own. It's pretty great. I don't know what else to say. Let's get out and have some fun with it. Thanks for watching.